Both grew up in similar situations, two Italians living in an Italian household. When I went to his house, I met Big T, and we immediately sat down and had a big Italian dinner and wine and cannolis, and then I was ready to pass out. He's like, no, let's go downstairs, and we went to the cellar, and <clears throat> I was, oh, the session room, actually, and I was literally positioned between him and his father, and they were going at it, playing, like, rhythm changes, and me in the middle, and I, I just... It was such a freak out to hear, you know, father and son playing <clears throat> such intense music. I just kind of squeezed back and checked it out. It was it was really an experience. <clears throat> well, being of Italian uh, descent, we relate very heavily to each other, I think. And now he's just a wonderful human being. He's a great leader. Joe Lovano and I have known each other since we were both 20. We developed our music and our sounds together almost. Sometimes we've gone in, in different uh, paths and then and then we end up meeting you know at the crossroads. It's just that old family feeling and, uh, just trying to make everyone around him comfortable and, uh, feel good, keep the groove going, plays drums for me that's, yeah, that's a lot of what it is. Yeah. Even in 1978 he was playing at such a high level I mean between him, he and Frank Tiberi I mean both those guys were playing so incredibly so I, I was it was, a, it was a, a, a start of also a, a beginning of my education too. Just it was a really, uh, it was an it was an incredible education to sit next to Joe for those. He was out on the band for about a year and a half, so we got to hang and play every night together. So that was a fantastic experience for me. He's a real jazzer. He's a real improviser. You know, totally has a personality, has a sound, his own sound, and uh, yeah, he's just uh, he's number one in my book. Almost 30 years later, we're still we're still friends and still playing. Oh, I mean, he was he was always playing at a high level, but uh, you know he's he's constantly searching. Joe's one of those guys that's constantly searching for um, to get deeper into the music and you know deeper in, in, into the horn. Um, I mean, jo Joe's so wide open. He's probably one of the most wide open musician I've ever met. Uh, comfortable in every situation where he's, whether he's playing standards, playing tunes, playing free, playing uh, you know any musical situation he's at home um, and that's just even gotten deeper over the, as the years have gone by. We, we stayed in touch together through the years and um, played different things between Boston and when I moved to New York he, you know, he again started playing with the Nonette and the Vanguard and it's, you know it's just a friendship that keeps going because he's such an amiable person you know he loves everybody and you know he's to me he's a master musician and, and really I uh, modeled a lot of what I do after <clears throat> you know following him and checking him out because to me he's like the ultimate in musician and player and person too. Joe is an amazing musician because he, he any challenge that you throw at him whether it's in jazz or even beyond jazz, he'll he'll meet it, and he plays all the instruments that he plays. You know, even like a, a rarely played instrument like the alto clarinet, things like that. He works very hard on playing all of his doubling instruments uh, very very well, which is which is a rarity. So no, I just love working with him. And he's a great, great musician. He has a limit this amount of energy and plus the body of work that he does along with his compositions and having appreciation for tradition and then you know a sort of eclecticism free bebop ballads and things like that so you know it's kind of a shared feeling of uh, music you know everything when you hear that him play because there's no one like him <clears> that you know there's only three or four people I can name on my list um, Levano, Ty Berry, Brecker and Liebman those are about the people to me that sum it all up and you know again I model my playing around those players and you know I mean everyone will agree there's no one like Joe, Joe's the ultimate, he's the consummate human being and musician and no matter what you think you play when you get on the bandstand, the kid can get up and really knock it down. And he loves it when you 
antagonize him with some ideas because he can come right back. And that's what makes this band so good is that the musicians, they fuel each other to play. And that's why I love being part of it, you know, for that reason. Thank you. 